Welcome to the Zwift Academy Roadshow. I'm Rebecca Charlton. It's already week five of ZA and I hope you're all loving being a part of this training program. We're another week down and that means another week closer to crowning two amazing Academy members with pro cycling contracts. But remember, ZA is for absolutely everyone and we're here to help you get the best out of it all, no matter your ability. There's only a few days left to sign up. You've got until the 1st of November, so get yourself over to Zwift.com forward slash Academy if you haven't already. And here's what we've got coming up on the show for you this week. Our guest of the week brings the beer and the banter. We get the down low on workout five from coaches Dan and Stephen. And Leah gives us the answers to your questions. It's been a busy week across the academy and I found a story that I have to tell you all about because it's a topic very close to my heart or should I say feet? <laughs> Community rider Janine Thompson has been keeping up everyone's spirits by showing off her incredible sock collection. Just take a look at this. Yes, she changes her socks for every ride, both virtually and in real life. That's some real commitment to the sock fashion game there. Well done, Janine. <laughs> Now, as you all know, I've signed up to the Academy for the first time this year myself and this week I completed the fourth workout and it was a real treat to be honest after that VO2 Max session that I have moaned quite a lot about now. Um, I also jumped onto the Champs-Élysées group ride and I had a brilliant time and I must say that people probably were watching the show last week because the group etiquette was on point. <laughs> Here on the ZA Road Show, we like to involve the community as much as possible, and our guest of the week is a very special part of that. She is known for comparing each of the Academy workouts to a beer. How can you compare beer to an intense workout on a bike? I hear you cry. Well, let's find out. Please welcome Christina Hansen. Hello, how are you? Hello, good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, so let's go right back to the beginning. First ever Zwift Academy. How did you get involved back then? Um, so I actually signed up for the first Zwift Academy, but I didn't complete it. Um, the, the workouts for the first one were pretty long, and so I I didn't actually complete it. So the second year I signed up and I was like, I, I'm gonna do this, Like this is cool. I'm gonna try to do this. I wanna just push myself and see what kind of things I can do. Um, and so I signed up and at that point, I think you had to do two group rides and two races. And so it was a little bit intimidating, but I completed it and I graduated the second year. So, uh, so what made you come back time and time again? Because you're still going. Yeah, um, the community first and foremost. I mean, the community of the Academy and the Women's Academy is just amazing. I mean, it, you're doing it yourself. So you know how awesome everybody is and how supportive everybody is. You are very well known for comparing the workouts to different types of beer. How did this all come about? Last year when I started the Academy on the first ride, I think I was riding along and I was like, I wonder what beer, I, I like what kind of beer would I drink after a ride like this? And would that beer change? And so it was just sort of something that I started to be sort of fun and to bring a little bit of, um, I don't know, chatter back, chatter into the group um, because it's supposed to be fun. The Academy's supposed to be fun. There are people that are complete, competing for the contract, but for the large majority of us, we're just doing it to get fit and to hang out and to see where we are. So let's take workout one, for example. Eight minutes of arguably quite hard work in that free ride in, in session one. What would that be? So for me, that was more of like a darker, more mellow beer that you have to, you can't just drink quickly. You have to work your way through and you get to the end and it's, it's really good the whole time, but it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of work to get to the end and you're going to spend that time enjoying it. Um, I'm not going to say that I enjoyed the full eight minutes when I was doing workout one the whole time, but at the end of the day, you, I got done, you know, you get done with it and you're like, man, I completed that. That's amazing. And so those type of longer workouts for me always feel more like darker, kind of heavier, uh, higher alcohol content beers. Whereas like the snappier ones, like the sprint ones, I always feel like are like sharp, punchy, tasty, tart beers, something that'll hit you right away. Whereas the more mellow ones kind of hit you over time and you notice it. Um, now we've had a few people um, asking where they can see more um, of your beer comparisons and read up more about it. Where can people find out how you've been doing all this? So um, I've been posting most of it on the Canyon Shram Zwift Academy page. Um, that's where I've 
I've been putting all of it so far. And I've also heard a rumour that you are organising a Halloween fancy dress ride on Zwift. Um, firstly, am I invited? Can I come along? And two, tell us about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, please come. Any Anybody and everybody is invited. So I'm encouraging people to take a picture of themselves in their costume on their bike, then post them on the same Zwift Academy page. And then I'll make a collage of all the costumes and I'll post it back to the Zwift Academy page um, on Halloween. I am in, I am definitely in. <laughs> um, listen, I thank you so much for the chat on this week's show. It's been absolutely brilliant catching up with you and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate it. You too. Bye-bye. Dan and Stephen are back in the lab and they've got some secret tips to help you get the best out of Workout 5. Welcome back to the Zwift Academy Road Lab. We're here to tell you the tips and tricks and the whys and whirs of how to get through this year's Academy. In order to graduate the Academy this year, you need to complete all eight workouts and any four ZA events. If you're going for the contract, these events need to be the two races and two segment rides. Space them out to give maximal time for recovery. Even if you're not going for the contract, this is gonna help you learn about structured training and build your fitness. So let's get into it. We hear it all the time, threshold efforts. But what is threshold efforts really? Threshold efforts is doing sustained intensity for prolonged periods of time without fatiguing. Building your threshold is key for cycling performance. It helps you improve your endurance and increase your cruising speed. In this workout, we're focused on building this key area of performance. Improving your FTP is not always about doing super long efforts. These can be physically and mentally draining. In this workout in Volcano Flat, we're cheating a system slightly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spike the effort for the first 30 seconds, then we're gonna settle down to a five minute solid threshold effort. We're in week five now. By this point, you should have completed at least 50% of the workouts and should have started thinking and doing the segment rides and the races. Don't leave everything for the last four weeks to get the program completed. In the first four workouts, you would have learned where you're strong and where you're weak. The last four workouts, we're gonna teach you how to develop those key areas. Thank you guys, yet another tough workout from those pesky coaches. And as you know, they are spending the entirety of ZA locked away in that lab, but don't worry, I've mailed them some box sets to get them through. So if they turn up in the lab next week, dressed like Game of Thrones characters, then you know why. Our beloved ZA community expert is back and has all the answers to those questions you've asked this week. It's the coffee start with the amazing Leah Thorvalson. Leah, where in the world are you? I am actually in Charlotte, North Carolina this weekend for a training camp with my in real life cycling team, Femme Keep. So what is going on this week? What have people been saying in the academy community? The community is just absolutely on fire talking about the workouts as usual, which ones they love, which ones they hate. And it seems to me that workout four is a pretty big hit. You know, again, we've returned to some of the shorter intervals. They're still challenging. But I think, as I've mentioned before, when the suffering is not so long, people tend to get through it with a little bit less griping and <laughs> have a little bit more fun, even if sprints aren't really their strong point. And as we go on with more workouts, there continue to be more questions about today's plan. How do people get connected to it? How do they analyze the data that is put into it from each session? And we do post each week in the community groups a link from today's plan that walks through each workout. But I do realize that some people are not in those community groups on Facebook. So I've put together a little quick tutorial for you on how to use today's plan. And you can just take a look at that now. Today's plan is the training tool of choice for some of the world's top athletes, and now it's available to you with Zwift Academy. You'll need to sync up today's plan to your Zwift account, which you can do here. The today's plan dashboard allows you to take a look at a whole host of data specific to you and your performance. Here we can see comparisons for your Zwift age group and across the whole board, so you can compare yourself against absolutely everyone in Zwift Academy. 
As you all know, watts per kilo is an important number when completing the Zwift Academy. And here, you can see exactly how well you've performed during each workout or race. This is the ability graph, which gives a bit more of an idea of what type of rider you are. On the Today's Plan blog, there's plenty more information on how you can upload and sync your former ride data. That's Today's Plan. Leo, what else is happening? What are the other hot topics in the community this week? Well, one question that came up in the women's community that just was very close to my own heart was a important question about the pizza slices. What do they mean? What kind of pizza is it? It was from our community member, Heather Flanagan, and it just made me smile so big because she was just saying, I can't sleep till I know what kind of pizza it is. <laughs> and I suppose if we were talking seriously about it, the way they've structured those is probably around some sort of particular calorie burn. But I say it's your pizza. You make it what you want. You make it the style you want. You make it the flavor you want. And snacks are always a favorite topic. So what are you eating on the bike this week? Um, I must say it's not been pizza, although I've been having some chats about the pizza slice because after I did, uh, I think it was workout number three and it came up that I'd burnt off one slice. I did have a word with the coaches and said I felt like it was a whole pizza that I've just burnt off. Um, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's all those questions brilliantly answered. But Leah, it's now time for the item that's well and truly blowing up on social media. It's fan <laughs> of the week. Our, you know, I don't know if people look more forward to me telling who Fan of the Week is or to hearing your fan puns, but that was a good one. And this week's Fan of the Week is Diana Paola. And her fan is so massive, I actually thought it was either a refrigerator or a shelf. We just love seeing all of your different setups, so please keep sending those in. You can send them to our social accounts or post them on your own with the hashtag Zwift Academy so we can select our favorites and share them in the next roadshow. Leah, big thank you as ever, and same time next week. See you then. All right, look forward to it. That is all we have time for this week. Many thanks to Christina Hansen, Dan and Stephen, and as ever, our coffee queen, Leah. Next week, we'll have even more insight into the workouts from our coaches. Leah answers all of your important questions, and we have yet another special guest of the week. And remember, there's only a few days left to sign up to the Academy, so get yourself over to zwift.com forward slash Academy. And for those of you who haven't already, make sure you go and destroy Workout 5. Goodbye for now. See you next time, and ride on.